When I um, decided I was going to try to make, in the beginning, pottery, I moved to Western North Carolina. I live in a place where there's rocks and w moving water and centipedes and blossoming flowers. And, and it's a, it is an enrichment to my soul to have that uh, right there at my door. I had sort of began to, to live with these rhododendrons that I, I'm in, in that environment. And the colors in the rhododendron were unbelievable. I mean, they would, a dead or dying or transitional leaf would be like, you'd pick it up and go, unbelievable. I mean, this is fake. It's totally fake because it's colors aren't that way. And so that became sort of the emphasis for that piece is that, that warmness, the goldenness, the heat of the day, and trying to communicate these colors that are real but unreal. With, with Two Sides of Tea, um, I really had been working fairly minimal, so I was choosing to make things more universal or archetypal. And part of that was really to sort of allow it to be more like an icon or, or a symbol of something. Because it's no longer, they're large, they're bigger than scale that for someone to use. That's kind of what I'm after, is trying to have something that would pop in your mind as someone says teapot. And, and for me to be, to have this white with black and then totally black and metallic is really talking about that sort of right and left side of, of my brain and other people's brains and the way they perceive things. I was told once uh, by someone said, you, you, you're, you're seeing that thing you're describing to me in your head. And, and, and I said, yeah. I said, and you can roll it around and look at all the sides of it. I said, yeah. And it, the person said, you know, I can't do that. I thought everyone could. I think most sculptors would lean that way. I think people that are really good surgeons would be very much three-dimensional thinkers. And, and, and so there are a lot of people where that kind of reasoning is, is important. And as a sculptor and as an artist, to me, it's been invaluable.